hello, 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 and welcome to episode one of Hold Your Own. Yes, another survival game, but it's a little bit different. So you know what? I'm going to keep trucking. As my husband says, have you not played enough survival games? But you got to remember, I've only been playing for less than two years any games at all. So these are all still very new to me. I'm not like burnt out on the same games over and over again because they all are a little different. I did try to play Substance last night and that just did not hold my interest whatsoever. So I was happy to find this little hidden gem that was recommended by a friend of mine. So we are going to jump right in. The beginning, I put it on medium. I don't want it on hard because I'm too new at gaming. So the beginning thing right here tells you about what the game is about. It says something had to give. We just never expected everything to go at once. The greed and arrogance of an invading force is now ruling us. A once peaceful and resourceful filled set of islands turned into darkness. They have poisoned the air and call themselves the Reborn Militia. They show little to, ber little to no mercy and our towns are collapsing one after the other like blood-soaked dominoes. That's a very good, like, analogy. Their motive for all the terror you wonder? To gorge us of all our natural resources and make a profit with me with many either dead or held captive, we find a group of rogue fighters called the Hunters. They serve all masters but belong to none. They are simply guns hired by the reborn militia to help settle their disputes. Then there is us, a small group that has risen to the occasion. We are the outcasts, the resistance, the ones that will take back what is ours. We will keep fighting, not for God, not for justice, not even for a better world. We will fight to survive. And we will not stop, and not until the last barrel of oil is burnt, the last bullet spent. As long as they remain here and try to take our land, we will spill blood over it. A war is coming, and we have front row seats. Yours truly, Max. So yes, this is the world. I have played about 15 minutes, maybe, on it. I didn't even finish the, the tutorial. Because um, I just, I got too, I don't know, I, I liked it. The gameplay so much that I was like you know what I'm going to start a series and yes I'm stumbling on my words right now I am getting sick and I took some cold medicine so I'm a little uh not all there now I changed my key binding so if you hear me say tab or anything like that it's actually I believe I to begin with but I don't like I for inventory I mean it makes sense but I don't like where it is on the keyboard so oh I don't need that I need no I want that in three so you start with an axe a pistol, 15 bullets, a bottle of water, a first aid kit, and a torch. So, and it gives you a tutorial. So, right now we need to gather 10 logs. So, we're going to chop and chop some trees because you know every survival game ever you have to start with resources and lots of them. Wood and stone are usually the biggest ones. You have completed a quest. Reward. Pop iron ore. Craft a pickaxe. Okay, so you go to the crafting menu, which is also tab. Um, is it in tools? Yeah. Iron pickaxe. Craft one. And that's going to take 30 seconds. That is 30 real life seconds. So we're just going to continue chopping some trees down until that's done. And we get our next quest. I've watched a couple let's plays on this, and that's actually what got me pulled into it more, is they looked really neat, and that was when it was, like, still in early access. They've done a lot of updates, it seems, since then, because a lot of the stuff looks different than what it did in the let's play series. Grab a couple more trees. It did appear this is one of those games, though, that you can't, like, really wander off in the tutorial. I mean, you can, but, like, I don't know, because it's going to tell us to build a bed soon. If I place that bed to get it out of our inventory so we're not bogged down, can I pick it back up? There's things that I don't know. We'll figure it out together, but I'd rather be safe than have it respawn me somewhere. If the bed is a spawn point, um, that is not even anywhere near where I want my base to be. So We will discover that soon. Uh, we need to find stone. Stone, stone, stone. Gather ten stone. Bottom left is where it has your health, your stamina, water, food, and I think the bottom one is rest, maybe? I'm not really sure what the bottom one is. Uh, I think this is stone. It looks like stone. Some mossy stone, we'll find out in one second. Yep, 
15 nails. Now I have to craft wood planks. Just one though. Um, was that in the building? I don't remember. Nope. We'll just go all and then scroll down. I think it's in alphabetical. Yeah, it's in alphabetical order. So. Da -da -da -da. I said that. Now I don't think it is. Wooden plank. Wooden railing. Wooden floor. Wooden door. Oh, wood plank. Craft. Oh. I didn't even see that it went to one. Okay, so we'll go grab some more stone and maybe find some ore or some food. That's stone. Uh, yeah, we'll grab one more note of that. Why not, right? I'm going to try and do my general commentary and everything, but my throat is like on fire, so it might just be one of those the next episode is better. This one's pretty much just going to be tutorials and stuff anyway. I believe. I don't know how long the tutorials are. I didn't get through them before I decided. Yep, this is going to be a new series. I was looking for two new series when I started on my game venture. That's what I call it. When I just demo a bunch of different games to see which one pulls me in. And uh, I think Miss Survival is the one I started yesterday. And this is going to be my second one. I don't... I haven't really found many let's plays on this game so it's one of those ones that from what I've played so far it seems like a very underappreciated game and it really needs its time in the spotlight. But, I mean the gameplay is very smooth I like the concept. It's not zombies are fighting it's the militia. It may or may not be overdone I don't know I have not played long enough to know what things craft a wooden foundation have been done a million times. Wooden foundation, crafty craft, one, maybe, one, um, we need two more planks. How do we not have enough planks if it's given it to us? Hmm. I'm not sure, but oh well. Okay. Planks. I do wish there was a search thing here to like, just type it in, or at least a place to like start it to mark it as a favorite so that you can like come back to it later if it's something you're going to be doing a lot of but that's okay we can work around that not a biggie deal you need two more of those so that's one minute we will venture around I think I uh, want to go um, let's see where's the map mappy map we are here on dead island you can make a ship or find a ship I'm not really sure or a boat not really a ship you can find something to uh, travel to these other islands. And I'm thinking maybe just like starting here and then going around. And so we will see. Um, here's your quest. This is all in the inventory tab, by the way. And then your skill points, which we have one skill point currently. And I would like more um, inventory slots. That is always like one of my biggest priorities. More stuffs to carry, please. And we're back. Is that done yet? No, one more second. So let's grab another tree while we're waiting. And it's kind of slow on cutting the tree, but not unbearably slow like an eco sometimes you got to hit something like 75 times to get the and I'm not even exaggerating to get the uh, tree to break or fall and then you got to hit it again to break it into pieces so at least it's only 10 hits and then it puts it onto your inventory where are you let's just go to building wooden foundation one no what what am I missing now Oh, that whole time. We already had enough planks. We needed pillars. <laughs> yeah, see, this is part of playing a game blind. Is uh, You don't really know how to do much of anything. So you guys get to learn as I learn. But I prefer doing my series that way. I just think it's more fun. I like to have raw reaction, like real reactions to things that we discover and we learn. Versus already knowing it and trying to fake this fun reaction. Like, oh wow, I didn't know it did that. Yeah, I already did. 
was all very well aware of it. Let's see if we can find maybe some food or something. Because I don't know how long it took. Ooh. Okay, good. We still got it. I thought maybe because I chopped it, we weren't going to get it. We got taters. Om nom nom taters. I'm going to feel like I'm playing raft again. I am also looking at going to test out, um, I think it's called Bermuda Lost Survivor. Lost Triangle. I don't know. It's Bermuda Lost something. It's a ship-based survival game or water-based survival game where you're on a raft. But it's not like Raft, it's different. I'm doing the uh, multiplayer series with Drake for Raft, so I didn't want to do a also single player Raft series because with me, I get burnt out on games so fast, I want to be able to finish that series with him because it is a lot of fun on multiplayer. Uh, we're just going to run around. Our, our pillar's done, it is. So now let's make that foundation finally. You're going to have to forgive my. Uh, extra randomness than normal right now. I'm telling you. Cold medicines, like, uh, they make me all sorts of, like, groggy, and I probably should have just went to bed instead of trying to record, but I need new stuff for y'all. I can't build a channel if I'm taking sick days right now. Which is probably extremely silly to some people, but I take it, like, I don't know, I'm trying to take it completely serious and do it the way it needs to be done. What is down here? Anything? Oh, I see a different color node. What are you? You look like stone. I'm pretty sure you are stone. More stone. Um, stone and something else. What else is it? Oh, clay. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit of a lag there. My computer had a hiccup. I heard the fan kick on, so I don't know if it overheated or what. It's probably about time to take the computer outside and use the blower on it and blow all the components out with three large, long-haired dogs. I do that like once a week. Um, there's a wolf over there that I would like to not get eaten by. So right now we're going to go right here for our quest. I actually don't hate this location. It's a flat location. It's on the edge of the beach. So if we do build a ship, we can sail off. But if we have to go find one, yeah, this is probably a perfect location for me. Because if you watch any of my series, you know I am navigationally challenged and I get lost everywhere. Okay, left mouse button to add waypoint. Can we add one here? Or maybe, no, down here more. No, here. Take it away. Right mouse button to delete waypoint. Delete, delete, delete. No? Right, well, that's close enough. You can all zoom in and. Oh, are those buildings? Does that tell you where towns are? Oh, that's neat. I actually did not even notice that. I don't even. I don't know how I didn't notice it on the map before. I want you over here. The right mouse button to delete is not working for me. That's okay. It's close enough. Okay, it wants us to craft a wooden crate. So I'm thinking we can get up there to the road and then we can follow that down to that city and maybe have some houses for us to loot. That sounds like a fun time. I love looting. Free stuff is my jam. Uh, wooden crate, wooden crate, wooden crate, crate, crate. We need one of you. Uh, we need six more planks first. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go ahead and place this foundation down. We'll do building on another, like one of the next episodes. Right now, I'd rather, <laughs> oops, go play with it and loot some. Can you turn this? Q? No, that, that doesn't do, okay, I don't think you can rotate. You can't. Oh, I guess that kind of rotated it. Uh, let's go share. And then you just hold left mouse down to place it. Yeah, that works. What do we need to make a couple more of those? We need pillars. Four pillars for each. Uh, 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 uh. You know what? We're going we're gonna to need a campfire, but no. Let's stick to the tutorial. We're only doing what it tells us to do right now. That way we don't make things, and then it, oh, you can make a helicopter? What? That, I did not even, I didn't even get into this far enough. 
crafting station used to craft various items and crafting stations. Should be a priority to obtain as early as possible. Uh, yeah, we're gonna obtain that. Oh, we need ingots. So for that, we need a forge. And for a forge, we need a bellows. I also wish you could click on this and it told you what you needed for that. I think that's just from Wyland spoiling me though. Because in Wyland you can go into the crafting menu and click on anything and it tells you what you need for that thing. So we're going to need 20 clay, a bellows, and stone. Which stone is easy peasy. Clay we already have 9 of. So just the bellows. And I think bellows are usually, aren't they leather and something else? Uh, I don't remember right now. Let's stack that up. I'm hoping by making this crate this ever gets done in time that we can you know let's put the burst aid kit down here just in case that we can um put some of our inventory in it because i would like to go up and check one of those towns out that sounds like fun oh but we're gonna need a lot more nails for those pillars aren't we i don't know how to make nails i don't know if it's complicated or if it's just like throwing something in a pool we will discover that together though and other question would be, can you store logs and stone and ore in a crate? In some games you have to store them in a stockpile. You can store them all in the same one. Others you can only store one specific item in a stockpile. So we will figure that out too. Man, compared to yesterday's recordings, I was so hyped up yesterday. And I was having so much fun, but I also was feeling a whole lot better. And I am having fun in this. That's not what I'm saying by that. But yeah, if you're watching my episode of uh, Miss Survival that I uploaded yesterday and then come to this city, you'll feel like that. Huge difference. Yes, that is part of the fun times of being not feeling well. And it's also partly some of the whole, uh, the fun, great things that come along with the bipolar highs and lows. They suck, especially when you really, like, you want to do something, but you can't really do it because you don't... It's not that you can't do it. You can't do it in the way you want to do it, I guess, is a better way to put it. And, do, 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 one wooden crate. Yes. How do we have... Oh, yeah, we made extra planks for the other foundation. I remember now. Never mind. I was going to say, how do we have extra planks now? But we didn't have enough a minute ago. But, yeah. Yay, more nails. Keep giving us nails. Oh, we probably need them for the bed. Oh, game. You tease me. Well played. Is there really not a way to, to turn things? Like, are they just always frontwards? Because some things are always backwards when you place them. Um, we're just going to put you over here in this corner. Because I don't know how big the walls are. Uh, right. There. Open wooden crate. And is our stuff going to get stolen? Actually, before I do that, we should probably craft this bed. Ten nails and ten iron ore. So pretty much everything the game is giving you as a reward for doing the quests are what you need to make the things for the next quest. So I do like that. That is pretty groovy. Um, let's put the clay over here. I think it's right click. Yeah, you can right click to just throw it over without having to uh, I think we might need that and that so I do want to make where did we get worms from oh probably from the trees duh uh, I do want to make a um some bow and arrow or a bow and some arrows is a better way to say that yeah let's just throw that uh, see I don't know if you can move it you can't move things that I don't want them just anywhere you can't move them or destroy them Hopefully, if you can't move them, you can at least destroy them. So, let's throw this here. Oh, no, 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 no. I also do wish it would lock into place. Now, I'm thinking that when it's nighttime, we can come sleep. Can only sleep after 9 p.m. And maybe it'll make the daytime come faster. That is my hope. So, I guess we need to watch the time so we can be wandering back to the house by nighttime. Okay, what do we need to make a bow? Oh, wait, hold on. It wants us to do a campfire. I'm trying to get ahead of us again. Craft that. And then for a bow, uh, we have everything we need for that. And for arrows, we're going to need more wood. So let's go ahead while that's crafting and get a couple more trees. Mm. This works. 
because we missed it on the first hit. We might need more scrums. We can get that if we're going to see what that village has. I don't know if it's like a hostile village with A1s, the militia, but guarding it and they're going to try and kill us. Or if it's just like an abandoned place that we can just go have fun looting. So we will find out. But first, we need to get through the tutorials. Um, can we cut down cactuses? We can. What did it give me? Plant fiber. Oh, okay, well. Plant fiber you need for so many things. We might as well just scoop that up. Oh, it's giving us cactus root, too. Oh, cool. I do not know if these respawn, so it's probably not a good plan to keep take them. That scared me. I just saw something red, like, popping up over there. It's telling us that our bed is there. I'm not going to lie. That terrified me a little, and my heart jumped. Okay, now we need to craft a hunting knife. Uh, it's probably under... Tools? Hunting knife. Crafty craft. Let's put our campfire down. Uh, I really don't want it in the sand. But I don't know if it can be moved. Oh, two animal hide. Thank you, game. I love all the free goodies. They know what gets me. The free stuffs. I would honestly rather this was on. Yeah, you know what? We can always move locations or just go over one if this can't be moved. It doesn't look like it can, but I might just be missing. Oh, wow. Baked potato, boiled corn, boiled eggs, bottled water, coffee, cooked bacon, green tea. Mmm, green tea. That would be so good on my throat right now with a little bit of lemon juice. Oh, cool. You can make all sorts of stuff. Oh, maybe we should make two baked potatoes worth thinning, finishing in stock. Zero. Oh, wait. Aha! Well, we are finishing the tutorials. Maybe. Is that all? And then what? On? Well, I don't know if you get more. Two plus two carbs. Uh, eating it raw. So I don't know if you cook it. Do you get more? Oh, ten carbs. Yeah, so we definitely need to cook it. We're not going to get much of a difference eating it raw. I do like that it says there um, when it's going to be perishable and how many you can stack it to because that's always one of those questions. Oh, sea craft, an archer bow. I was afraid that was going to pop up. That's why I wanted to wait. Wasn't sure, but was pretty confident that was a very big possibility. It is having us craft all the basics, which is fine because I was going to basic, I was going to basic them. I was going to craft them anyway. But now I get to craft them and get rewarded for crafting them. So that makes me happy. Free stuff. Yes, please. Uh, how are we doing on skills? Do we have any more points? No. XP to next level is 1327. What is our current XP at? Uh, where does it say? I don't see it anywhere. Uh, I have no idea. Um, am I missing it? Okay, so if y'all know where to see the XP that you're currently at, please let me know, because I, like, legit am not seeing it anywhere. Okay. Anywho, let's go ahead and equip the bow in number four. He gave us five arrows. That's not really going to be enough. I have a horrible shot, so let's just do 17 more, which is going to be three minutes. Wowza. You are still cooking. How do I know when you're done? Like, does it say how long it's going to take? And do you sure? I don't know if three minutes is enough wood in there to finish it. So let's go add some more wood to that real fast. Actually, I think we have some in there. Okay. That's okay, though. We already started. Can't quit now. We can't halfway cut down a tree. have more fuel because I don't know how much you need. Uh, wait, our, oh, <laughs> I was like, where are our arrows? Well, they're not in the campfire desk, dude. Okay, let's go in here. 
I'm going to put that in, that in. Hopefully we can find our way back to this area. We'll throw the hides in. We're going to probably keep the food on us. I'm not really seeing getting rid of that at this point. Clay, stone, bullets definitely are staying on us. Yeah, that should, that should do it. We have 10 water and then we have two potatoes and some apples and fruit. Oh, why are you not cooking? Oh no, I just realized I didn't push here and then tell it to craft. Wow, that's why you're not cooking. I have to tell you to cook. Just like real life. Those don't just magically know what you want them to cook when you put something on it. Oh, kind of, yeah, I guess they do. Okay, forget everything I'm saying right now because I'm clearly making zero sense. Okay, so we got 30 seconds on that. Let's go see if we can do this quest. Let's go find us something to kill. I would much rather save the ammo. Oh, there's a wolf. Uh, we might get murdered doing this, but... Man, all the wolf bites are like deadly. Press enter to respawn. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 that works. We did spawn on our bed. Ha ha, wolf, we're coming for you. We must avenge our death, guys. Oh, or get killed again. Are we really out of bullets? Are we out of arrows already? Okay, you know what? We're just we're not going to mess around this time. How are we not loaded? Oh, you can't get up here, can you? Will you stop moving so we can shoot you? Really? No, we had 34 arrows left. I'd, maybe something we were doing, you couldn't shoot an arrow with? I don't know. I'm gonna butcher you now. Oh, you just take the hunting knife and hit it with it. Good deal. Craft a forge. I don't think we had the stuff to craft a forge game. But we will try. Let's go ahead and do that and turn that off. Save the fuel. Okay, a forge, a forge, a forge. Where? No, no. Placeables? Yes. A, a bellows. So where? Okay, where's the bellows? You need five leather, five iron ore, and five hide. Okay, let's grab the hide we have here. We're at four. We can. We didn't get any animal meat to cook off that. That's a shame. We have the iron ore already. Uh, what all was it for bellows? Bellows, bello bello. So we're gonna have to go kill some more animals. We need one more leather, and we need, or one more hide, and three more leather. Oh yeah, we did get some raw meat. Okay. Let's go ahead and cook that. Raw meat. Cooked bacon? No. Grilled meat? Yes. You go in there. What do you do with fat? Oh, you make it. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. To make tallow for candles. Okay, you cook that. We are going to go... That's the first time I think it's not given us enough resources to uh, craft something in the quest. Oh, okay, game. Now you're going to make us work. We got it. We understand. Challenge accepted. Well, I probably shouldn't be trying to hunt something with a hunting knife in my hand. That's just silly. Yeah, we were doing something wrong. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't loading the arrows. Oh, we need an animal. You know what? Maybe. What about heading to town in search of said animal? Maybe we can go loot if that place is lootable. Lootable. Is that a word? Sounds like a word. If not, hey, it's a destinyism. There's your word of the day. Lootable. So we are actually going to hold off on this challenge. Oh man, we only have three bullets. Oh, okay, we have 13 bullets left. Did I say this challenge? It's clearly not a, well, I guess it's a challenge, but we're gonna hold off on this quest. The torch up here too. We need the first aid kit. We need the arrows. We need the foods. Food and water. Right there. Arrows and ammunition. Okay. 
Are you done cooking? You are. So let's take that with us. Oh, 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 oh. And turn you off. Okay. Um, I believe, where was that town? Was it this way? I keep trying to hit M for map. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Just follow the road. And it's up, oh, what is that? See, I don't know what some of these things mean. Like, I mean, we're going to figure it out. Together, we will figure it out. But I... Oh, the little arrow tells us where to go to get home. Ha! On the bottom of the screen. Is that what that was? It was saying, go backwards. Yeah, look, see? I like that. I don't know if that's because we added a bed or because we added a waypoint. Not sure, but either way, I do like that. It says, where are you going? You are not supposed to be... Oh, you know what? We should probably not run and be looking for food along the way. I did see something about there'll be random, like, trash bags and backpacks and boxes that you can loot when you're walking around. So I guess, instead of just running like I always do, we should be looking for those at the same time. Oh, I hear something. I don't see anything, but I hear something. Maybe it's us I'm hearing. Nope, that's definitely not us. Oi. What are you? A bear. Are you the one we're hearing? Or is there one closer? I don't really know. I'm assuming it's this one. We need your meats, bear. Oh, crap. Oh, we both died. We died when the bear died. Oh, man. These animal bites, like... I wonder if there is a skill to uh, increase our... Okay, let's go see if we can still butcher that animal since we did kill it. There's a skill to re increase your health. Because that's probably something that I need to dump a lot into. Otherwise, I'm going to die... A lot. I will get us killed a lot in this game. That's something I can guarantee every gameplay that has anything to do with something that can kill us. If it can kill us, it will. Ah, ha ha! It's still there. If it can kill us, odds are it's going to kill me many, many times. Like, I am surprised I have not died much more on this survival. Okay, let's butcher him up. We can get enough stuff. That's raw meat, fat, one leather, two leather, three leather. Or hides, okay. I think all we need now... Oh, uh, what, what was it? Bello. Hello, Bella. Uh, we need five leather. Do we have to make leather? I think it gave us leather as a reward for something. We probably need... Okay, so... We needed how many? Five, did I say? Five, yes. Okay. I really need that a search button up here so I can just type it in. So we need three more leather. So let's make all those into leather. And then we'll just have to work on... What was it? Five hides? Five hides. We already have the iron ore. So that, that should not be too incredibly hard. I say that. Um, is the town this way? I do not remember now. Uh, no, it is the other way. It is that way. Uh, we need to get up on the, I don't know, is traveling on the road our safest bet? Or should we stay, like, in the, uh, in the wilderness, in the wilderness? I'm just thinking on the road might be, I just don't know if anything's traveling on it. If the militia's going to see us on that more, or are they going to see us? Uh, yeah, I think we're probably safer traveling beside the road. I just don't know if we have to get on it to access that town down there. Because, like, if the town was over there, we wouldn't be able to get to it from here. That would definitely be a no-go. Let's run a little bit, because if you watch me, you know I don't like walking slowly. I like getting where I need to go. Okay. Um, do we have that point yet? No. Oh, my goodness. It takes a long time. 100 XP per A1. 50 per animal, 3 per plant harvested, 5 per tree node cut, ore node, and then 
completed a quest. Oh, well, I might have enough if we get that quest completed. I think we can better with the arrows than we do with the ammo, so I'm not going to waste the ammo if we don't have to. Well, let's go up here just a wee bit. I'd like to find some more food because I have a feeling food's not going to be easy to come by. In the uh, description of the game, though, it does say that they make sure that food is not... Oh, there's some corn. Food isn't so hard to come by because they wanted it to be a survival game where you can have fun building, crafting, and exploring, not trying to find food and water every moment of every day. Because, like, seriously, in Miss Survival, I feel like I spend more time looking for food and water. Well, not so much water now that we got the purifier made. Oh, wait. Spoiler alert. Sorry. You haven't seen that episode yet. I haven't even uploaded it. So, no, you haven't seen it yet. But you knew I was going to do it. I have to make everything in every survival game. Like, everything must be crafted at least once. And, just, and like, played with. I have to tinker with things. It is a requirement. It looks like we're almost to that town. That's not too bad. It's not that far away. Like, it's doable. Oh, it's pretty over there. Did you see that? Look how gorgeous that is. That island. Oh, which island is that? Ah, there I am. Hitting M again for map. Uh, can we come out? That's Betrayal Island, but I wanted to start with Kobe. I don't know. Maybe we'll get, like, quests that will tell us to go to certain islands. I have no idea. But there is one way to find out. And we are doozing it. Can we jump up over this? Can we? Yeah. Yay, we can. I don't know if there's fall damage. I haven't been on long enough or daring enough to risk that. It is 5.30 in the evening, though, so we probably should do a little bit of uh, looting and then head home for the night. So we will discover this town, see what it is exactly, and then that will probably be the end of the episode because then it will be nighttime already, which is kind of perfect. We can do one episode per day because then I can just sleep at night. I don't want to go too fast and miss uh, somebody in the militia. I need to be able to see over that. So yeah, one episode a day, or one day per episode, and then I can upload daily, so that will work. And then you guys will have five new episodes of Hold Your Own a week. Kind of concerned. I don't know if there's people living in these houses. Uh, I guess there's only one way to find out. I don't see anybody yet, so as of now, I think we're safe. We are 618 meters from home. Can we open the door? We can, okay. But I want the soda. Okay, game, that's just a tease. We are thirsty, and there is a soda here. It looks like a cherry Coke. I could be wrong, but that is my... Ooh, we can loot. Never mind, you made me happy because I can loot. Gonna make me happier if there's stuff to loot. Fridge. We got yogurt. Mm, yum. And bottled water. Uh, right click. Right click. Uh, we're kind of good on food and water still, so I'm not gonna waste any. Can we loot the toilet like in seven days to die? No. I'm okay with that. What else can we loot? Uh -uh. Going in the basement is never a good plan. But we're gonna do it. Juice, yay, yum. Can we not, like, I don't know. This house is kind of nice. Like, can we make one of the houses our base? Like, can we set things in the house? A bullet tip and, ugh, a can of fish. I mean, I guess if we have to do it, it's better than dog food. No, I'd probably rather eat dog food than fish. I have, like, the most irrational, insane, crazy, stupid phobia of fish. Not sharks. Fish. Anything under the water freaks me to the hell out. Like, massive panic attack if I just sit beside somebody that is eating, like, cooked lobster or something. Ugh, I don't know why. I can't even go, like, to the fish tank department at the store. Don't judge me for it. You know, everybody's got some crazy, stupid, irrational fear. I just, I accept mine. And at least it's for fish, not something fun and silly like clowns. So, ha, to all y'all that are judging me and you're scared of clowns. 
take that to the bank and cash it. No judgment for me, though. We don't judge here. This is a no judgment channel. Okay, looks like nobody's here. So is this just like an abandoned? Like, I would seriously not mind making one of these houses our base. The question is, though, is can you... Oh, maybe we can make... Like, I don't know. The question is, can you... Can I loot that? No. Set things down inside the house. So we will have to attempt that. Taters, yummy. No. Sink. Stove. Cupboard. A glass jar. I'm assuming we boil water in that to make it safe to drink. Anything in here? I do like this game is very clean. The graphics are, to me, they're pretty unique. They're not the same old graphics you see or the same old gameplay. Now, the animals do look just like the animals in Myth Survival. So, I don't know if it's made by the same developer. I never really look at that stuff. I probably should, especially being that I am doing the YouTube thing. Murky water. That's okay, because it will boil you and make you beautiful drinking water to quench our palate. But yeah, like the bears. Uh, I don't think I've seen wolves yet in Miss Survival. I'm kind of trying to stay on one side of the road so I don't get confused as to where we have and haven't been yet. Um, I wish there was a way to mark them. Like, can I spray paint on the side of your house a big whopping X? Is that a possibility? Oh, where are we at? We got Danny's Hipster Cafe. Restrooms are for customer only. Restrooms are for customer only. Okay, that's not proper English. Customer only. Hours open. I like when they like don't they pay attention to detail. Like they even have the open hours sign. Uh, if you call it espresso, you will be asked to leave. Oh wow, that's funny. Oh no, not a lag. Lag spike. I don't know why. I'm on single player, so I mean, I guess it's possible. Oh, I think I just shot an arrow into the box. Maybe not. Like some game. Like, oh, what game is it that I can't play single player on very much? I had to turn my graphics like way down to be able to play it. Let's see. We got some screws. An empty container used to wrap chamomile green tea or coffee cups. Mm, can't start a morning without our coffee. Now we just need coffee beans. Up in there, let's go upstairs. This is fun! Booting! Free stuff! Gia! Some berries. Nope. Okay, well it is 7.30, so I think it's time that we head back to the house. Okay, I have to go see what's in the church. Oh, there's corn over here, too. Because, oh, that's so pretty. Man, that is just gorgeous. I mean, I wonder if we can swim over there. I'm sure we could. But, um, I've played a little too much raft, so I'm not trying to get eaten by sharks. I don't even know if you can swim. We will figure all that out later. Nothing there. Anything over here? No, I wonder does loot respawn or is it just always empty? Like if we come back here tomorrow, will there be different things in here? Good question. Valid question. Can we take a look? Living by faith. The holy tibli. Uh okay. Maybe that's like table or I, I don't know and spiritual enhancement how to deal with sinners and invitation to the Lord's home see it's just the detail work they even have where you can actually read living by faith and the Lord's plan you can read the names on the books that makes me it's just exciting to me okay so we're gonna call that an episode we are going to head home so that we can sleep make it daytime again and perhaps come back up here and loot some more after we finish our quest for tomorrow so thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment do all that fun positive stuff to help me being that i am new at this so trying to build things up and get my page afloat my channel it's not a page channel flowing so thank you very much for watching i look forward to hanging out with y'all again tomorrow remember when gaming have fun play hard 
But in real life, it'd be the change you wish to see in the world. Bye, y'all.